Hey boo! Welcome to Carter Chanel Beauty. My name is Asia, your favorite homegirl. I'm hoping you guys know this by now. But just in case you don't, welcome to KCB. Hey! And here at Carter Chanel Beauty, I really just want to encourage all my girl bosses, girl, you better build your seven streams of income and create the life that you dreamed of. I don't know what you waiting on. But as you guys can tell from the title, we are going to be talking about Starting your nail business, how to, let's get with it, you know what I'm saying? So if you're interested in hearing what I got to say, just keep on watching, girl. Hey, boom. All right, let's, so let's get into these tips, steps of starting your nail business, okay? So forgive me if you see me looking over here. Um, you know, she's a blind bat and my notes are over there. So if I start squinting, I'm going to Okay, so let's go. Number one deciding if you are going to be a home-based nail tech or not so some of the um pros and cons of being a home base is you get to pocket all of your money every last dollar and then two you get to be able to work from home like that that is a benefit um some of the cons of working from home is the fact of the matter that you are working from home yes or um you know, sometimes working from home, you can only, like, there's a ceiling to it. Like, you know, you can only go so far. You can only offer so much. Or you may even feel like it's not really professional for you to work from home. And you just, like, really want to, like, give a professional vibe. So, you work from home. Okay. So, um, the next step, tip number two, step number two, that you need to worry about is figuring out what services that you want to offer so that can mean manicures, gel manicures, regular no, regular nail polish, pedicures, acrylic, dip, poly gel, a little bit of mixture. Like, what are you gonna offer? So, like, what you, like literally, what are you gonna offer? Okay. Then the next step that you need to figure out is who your ideal client is, and I feel like your ideal client or like your market and what services you offer are important so for instance like you're like hey i feel like moms or young young ladies bosses bad bitches whatever you know you feel like your market is you just want to make sure that for example i i did this and it was like i had to start basically back over at zero i wanted to cater to moms but I only offered a curlic. And then where I'm located, I don't know where anybody else is. But where I'm at, like, there's like this 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 amount of moms that wear a curlic. And that's a small amount. Like, I understand they say niche down. But dang, girl. Like, wait, no. So it's kind of like, I guess, like, give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. So make sure, I guess, it makes sense. Okay? And then so your next step that you need to worry about is your pricing. So those three things, in my opinion, are like the heart, the glue, the everything to everything, okay? So pricing, like if you're a home-based nail tech, girl, you can have it as cheap as you want it to be because you at home. And then if you have a shop, you can have it as cheap as need be because, girl, we got to make some money up here, okay? So, um, but make sure who your ideal client, the services that you offer, and your pricing make sense. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I personally feel like moms aren't spending that much on nails. So if you have some nails that's charged like $100, $80, maybe, maybe not. All depends. So just make sure that makes sense for, you know, those three. You, I really feel like those three things really need to make sense. Okay. So then the next Thing that you need to worry about is coming up with a marketing strategy so just in case yes okay so just in case you have not caught on I love the 90s and the 2000s yes okay so you know how I was like let's be homegirls so you know I feel like that is a 90s 2000 thing because they wasn't saying sis in 2000 you know or 99 to the early 2000s okay yeah yeah no they wasn't i mean they wasn't doing this but they wasn't saying this when they was doing this okay so it's like okay so a marketing strategy okay okay hold on hold on hold on, hold on. i got i'm gonna give you some examples of what i'm talking about so 
I'm pretty sure everybody has seen the movie Mean Girls. She doesn't even go here. I swear that's my favorite line. But okay, so you know how on Wednesday we wear pink? Okay, so one of my marketing strategy was for like a special was on Wednesday we wear pink. So you had to get a pink full set, um, like a, a solid full pink set and get some money off. Or now I don't, I don't offer manicures, but if I did, and I love the 90s, I'm going to give this to you guys. So, one of my little marketing strategies was Manny Fresh Friday. Hey! Because you know he was about to 99 to that at the thousands, okay? House real big. Cars real big. Yes, okay? But think about it. It's a play on words like manicure, Manny Fresh, Manny, Manny, see? Marketing strategy. If you love the 90s and 2000s, you really know. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, like, so, you know, come up with a marketing strategy. So, if, like, and it doesn't have to be that deep. You don't have to overthink it. It can be really surface, like, who you are. Like, I, like, I'm a mom. That's kind of why I wanted to cater to moms. But it didn't make sense for me particularly. But it's like, I'm also, like, I love the 90s and 2000s, you know? So, it's like, if you're, like, a bad bitch, and that's naturally who you are, you know, care to boss up Friday. I don't know, like, bad bitch Wednesday. I don't know. Like, whatever. Like, whatever. But think of a marketing strategy for your ideal client that's, like, going to resonate with them, okay? So then, these two are kind of, like, interchangeable. But um, a booking site. Get yourself a booking site. And the reason why I say that is because, like, for me as a consumer especially in the beauty field, I like to look up the pricing before I decide if I want to go there. And let's just say you don't have any pricing anywhere, like I can't see it, so I have to message you, send you a message on how much you're pricing. Now I feel like there's an awkward silence that's like, so when you want to book? I didn't want to book. I just wanted to see your pricing and see one, are you like, are you in my bright, uh, are you in my pricing range? Like, are you like, or are you somebody I need to save up for? Or like you just, you too far out there. So I feel like having a booking site gets rid of that a little bit. And then on top of that, I feel like it makes it look professional so that when you are doing your marketing strategy, like Manny Fresh Friday, you can, you know, you have your little caption and then you can have like book here and then have your booking site. So it looks, you just want to look as professional as possible, in my opinion, especially when you're out of the home. So getting a booking site, okay? And then, so the next thing that you need to consider is the customer experience, okay? So think about it like this. Everybody named mama do nails, okay? So that means everybody named mama got sh shaping, bomb shaping, everything. Shaping is subjective. Bomb nails, bomb within itself is subjective. So like everybody does acrylic. Everybody does this. Everybody does nails, okay? So it's like... When they sit in your chair, like, just because, I mean, I guess it can be a thing, but it's like, okay, you got bomb shaping, like, what else? So think about the customer experience. So when they leave your chair, they're walking away with bomb shaping, but what else are they walking away with? They're walking away with bomb nails, but, like, what else? For example, let's be homegirls. You walking away because we homegirls, like, you know what I'm saying? So when you leave my chair, you going to feel like you just talked to your homegirl. Like, you just been kicking with your homegirl for two hours, three hours, however many hours. Like, that's that's what I mean. So it's like, even if it's like you're a mom or even if you're like zen, like whatever, it's like, okay, think about it. So when they leave this chair, I want them to feel real relaxed or i want them to feel like they was really kicking it with a bad bitch with a real boss bitch like whatever it is like just make sure you know or you can provide them with a customer experience okay and then the last thing that we need to consider for starting your nail business is while you're doing nails building your clientele because girl you and i we on the same level okay so when you build your clientele everything you do everything is content for your social media so i mean the size of your brush the monomer that you use how what do you use to store your monomer in um the powder how you pick up your beads um like a nail supply haul like you know whatever like everything you do 
is um, content because you basically need content to build it. And it would be good if like you can get pictures on like how long your nails last. If you have like messages between like you and your client or soon to be client or whatever, like everything. So therefore it's like people know like there's people coming to you because I feel like there's a, there's a risk with um, people coming to you. I feel like, yeah, there's a risk. So it's like, you wanna like help lower their like, I don't wanna call it anxiety, but like suspicion or like skepticalness of coming to you. So it's like, okay, well, I did see X, Y, and Z. Like, you know, so just think about that, okay? So let's bring this all back full circle. And before you bring it all back full circle, I just want you to know that you don't have to think, you don't have to overthink this. It doesn't have to be deep. Like, and what I'm starting to learn is that, <sighs> I know this might be hard for somebody because I, I didn't like this, but it's, it might be easier to do stuff how people already view you. So for me, like people already view me as a mom. So it probably would have been easier if I did do like um, gel manicures and stuff like that because the public already views you a certain way so it's just kind of like just keep that in mind like you know i'm not saying that you can't do anything that's not what i'm saying but you know sometimes if you want to take the easier way out it may be easier to go with how whoever you're going to market to let's say like your facebook if facebook already views you as a bad bitch it might be easier to play into the bad bitch or if they see you as a mom it might be easier to play into a mom but like let's say like you don't have like completely any following you just gonna have to build it up a little bit okay so let's let's recap deciding if you're going to be a home base or not what services you're going to offer who are you offering these services to what is your pricing so remember what are your pricing who are you offering it to and what services those are like the heart of everything because those three have to make sense it just has to okay and then after you figure out the pricing, come up with a marketing strategy. Cause yeah, we, we, we need to we need to get out there. We need to market to these people. But make sure your marketing strategy is like appealing to your ideal client, to your like, you know. So I love the 90s, so more than likely people who come sit to me, like they love the homegirl vibe. They love the 90s or they love the, you know, the I'm your homegirl vibe, you know? Um, after you do that, get a booking site. I feel like it will make it easier and look more professional. And after you get a booking site, think of your customer experience because everybody and their mama do nails. So when they leave your chair, you want they want to leave with something more added, a plus than just getting their nails done. And then um, build your social media, build like, get your content. So therefore it's like you have like a portfolio. Okay, I feel like I covered everything. Hopefully I did. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.